Hello, supporters of Danny Did. I'm Alex Maragos of NBC5, and I am so glad you are here tonight to support a cause that is close to my heart. So get ready for a fun show with music, comedy, and so much more. And most importantly, please contribute generously and give from your heart. Thank you, and enjoy the evening. are SK Life Science. We explore the complex mysteries of the brain to find answers for patients, caregivers, and healthcare professionals around the world. The SK Life Science family is passionate about improving the lives of people with epilepsy. Together, we work toward this goal every day. We are committed to addressing the needs of the epilepsy community. We know progress requires a consistent, collective effort and we are here to help. Because at SK Life Science, we won't rest until the work is done. Hello, Danny Did supporters. I'm Coach Doug Bruno of DePaul Women's Basketball. As the father of a son with epilepsy, as a board member of the Danny Did Foundation for over 10 years, I know how important it is to help families who face epilepsy every day. Please give generously tonight, as your generosity will greatly impact those families who live with epilepsy every day. Danny Did Foundation, I love it, I love it, I love it. 
We're, We're Danny's siblings, siblings, and Hearts and Hugs starts now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mike Lowe. Well, good evening, everyone. It is my pleasure to welcome you here to the Danny Did Foundation's Evening of Hearts and Hugs. We're bringing you this event tonight live from Chicago, obviously, but there are obviously people also who are watching from around the country in different places this year. It is certainly an odd year. But one silver lining is that we do have people watching. They are with us in other places. They're watching Hearts and Hugs through YouTube live tonight from coast to coast. We're so grateful to have all of you with us. Now, if there's one thing I think that everyone can agree on is that 2020 has been, to use an academic term, a pretty crappy year. To all of those who have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, we send our support and our empathy. And to those on the front lines who have provided care, we send our gratitude. However, there is one thing that the year 2020 has produced that is entirely positive. The 10th anniversary of Danny Did. Danny Did was established in 2010. So for that, for this family foundation surviving and growing and making it to one decade of serving the epilepsy community, let's have a round of applause. One, one logistical note tonight, as you may hear when you're watching from home, we do have a very small audience here at Theater on the Lake. They are socially distanced. But to all of you watching from across the United States this evening, although we can't be together this year, we can raise funds to further the Danny Did mission and provide the near-term support to the one in 26 Americans who face epilepsy. And we can have some fun together while we're doing it. But before we start the program, I want to highlight and thank our platinum level sponsor for Hearts and Hugs 2020, UCB Pharma. In a year when nothing has been normal, they have absolutely stepped up and been there for the Danny Did Foundation. So our huge gratitude goes to UCB for their support of the epilepsy community. So here we go. Let's kick things off by introducing our auctioneer for the evening, Hall of Famer Keith Jones of Sayer & Jones Auctioneers. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am so excited to be back again this year with the Danny Did Foundation. And you know what? We have a spectacular evening planned for you. If you haven't already done it, I know most of you have, grab your phone, look at the silent auction items, and bid. And bid. And bid. Keep those donations coming in. That's right. I see this is the only time that we actually accept, Mike, people looking at their phones when we're talking <laughs> up here. That's right. But, can do it ladies and gentlemen, um, please... Bid now because it closes at 9 p.m. Silent auction will close at 9 p.m. You'll get a little warning, but if you wait till the last second to do it, someone is going to miss out, and we don't want to miss anybody. So at 9 p.m., the silent auction will close. Also, what else can you bid on? I will tell you. We have a couple raffles. One of them is a chance to win an Apple iPad Pro. It comes with the pencil and the smart keyboard folio. It is an $1,100 value, and the tickets are only $25 a piece. $25. So buy one, buy four, buy as many as you want, because the more you purchase, the better chance you have to win that iPad. Once again, an $1,100 value. Okay, you did that. I have something else for you. I have spectacular trips, four of them. Listen to this. A weekend getaway in Lake Tahoe. Uh, the chance to explore Key West for three nights. 
We also have a golf experience in Pebble Beach. That's Monterey, California. And for you outdoor adventurers, we have glamping near Yosemite. Hear it? Yeah, right? I, if you can't hear it at home, we had a couple people just cheer. However, here's what's really cool about this. You get through 2022 to use it. This pandemic isn't going to last forever. You're going to want to travel. You're going to want a vacation. These are four spectacular ones. And if you win, you get your choice. So please, please donate. That's a $25 donation for the iPad, a $100 donation for the trips. Well worth it. Not to mention, where's all the money go to? The Danny Did Foundation, that's right. Also, we have premier auction items that we will be talking about a little later in the evening. You can start bidding on them now, though, through um, your iPhone again, or your telephone, I should say, your smartphone. Also, we have the fun to cause. We know what that is, we're excited about it, we're gonna uh, gear you up for it, that's gonna be a little uh, later in the evening. Um, remember, it makes a direct impact on the Danny Did Foundation, which protects kids with epilepsy. So we'll be getting to that in a little while. One last thing. You know why they need to do this? Let me tell you, Mike. Because you just asked me. I'm going to do it, OK? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> You know why? You didn't pay for a ticket today. You didn't pay for a new dress, a new suit. You didn't pay for a babysitter. You didn't pay for transportation to go anywhere. You are sitting at home, hopefully with a preferred drink of your choice. But use those dollars. Use them to get the silent auction, the raffle tickets, the fun to need, the live auction. And more than anything, enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you, Keith. You cannot beat Keith's energy. So let's prepare to do a great job for the foundation tonight. And we are thrilled to kick off the show tonight with a message and a special song from actor Miguel Cervantes, the star of the hit musical Hamilton. Miguel and his wife Kelly, as many of you know, have their own personal story and connection to epilepsy. Let's hear from Miguel now. Hey everybody, how you doing? Um... Thank you so much for joining uh, us today uh, in the Danny Did Foundation. Um, I know personally, I am so grateful for folks like you for reaching out and helping the epilepsy community in any way. Um, my family um, suffered greatly because of epilepsy. Uh, my daughter passed away last year, uh, as some of you may know. So we understand how very, very, very important it is for organizations like this to operate and to be funded and to do the amazing work that they do. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, I wanna sing you a song from Hamilton. It's a little part of a song from Hamilton. And um, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's probably a lot of your favorite song sung by your favorite character. And I'll give you a little hint of what it is it's not one of the songs that I sing in the show. <laughs> there we go. La da 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 da. La da 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 da. Ya da 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 da. La da 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 da. Da 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 da. Oh, somewhere over the rainbow One day I will 
wish upon a star Wake up where the clouds are far behind Me Where troubles melt like lemon drops High above the chimney tops That's where You'll find me You're somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And I dream that you dare to Dreams really do come true Time will tell You'll remember that I served you well Oceans rise, empires fall We have seen each other through it all And when push comes to show I will send a fully on battalion To remind you of my love da 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 Everybody sing That was, that was just outstanding. Many thanks to the Cervantes family for their continued advocacy in honor of their daughter, Adelaide. Well, our next supporter message comes from our friends here at Theater on the Lake, Chicago's best lakefront dining. And what a beautiful venue this is, if I must, might say myself. Uh, you've got sweeping views of the skyline, and of course, you can't beat the view of the lake. The patio is a great place to grab a drink, and we are gonna have some good weather. That's what Tom Skilling says. One more warm weekend uh, coming up. But now, please enjoy a special message from a very special Chicagoan. I'm Sister Jean, and some people tell me I'm the heart and soul of Loyola University Chicago basketball. I'm 101 years old now, and I've had a long time to view various causes, and I know a good one when I see it. Please give to the Danny Did Foundation this evening. As, please give as much as you can. Danny had that rambler spirit handed down from his mom to help others. We can help them tonight. May your donation grant kids with epilepsy the gift of time. What an amazing woman, Sister Jean, 101 years old. Go Ramblers. Well, next we're very excited to debut the new Danny Did Awareness video with special thanks to creator Josh Wine. My name is Tommy. And I have a story to share. It is a story of one family's journey. It is a story of love, of hope, and of resilience. A story of how one life moves so many other lives. This is the story of what Danny did. It was 11 years ago. Danny Stanton was four years old when he died after having a seizure while he was sleeping. His death was caused by sudden unexpected death and epilepsy. The Danny Did Foundation began as a promise to Danny to protect those suffering from seizures. I believe in a wind that's blowing 
Today, its impact is felt around the world. The foundation has provided thousands of grants to families in all 50 states and across 13 countries. Its programs are designed to make a direct impact through access to life-changing seizure alerting devices, access to educational resources for caregivers, and by advancing public awareness through every medium, billboards, social media, radio, and just this year, our first TV campaign. Connect with us at dannydid.org to learn more and to donate. If people don't understand what epilepsy is, how can they care enough to join the fight? This is the face of epilepsy. And this face. And this face. Since its inception, family has been at the core of the Danny Did Foundation because epilepsy affects the entire family. A new chapter of hope is written every day. I know this story well because Danny is my brother. Although we miss Danny every day, we carry on with his twinkle in our eyes, his presence in our hearts, and his spirit at our side. Never forget to enjoy your life, just like Danny did. Hello. Um, thank you for spending your evening with us. My name is Mike Stanton, and together with my wife, Mary Ann, I'm co-founder of the Danny Did Foundation. Last year when we got together, I spoke of Danny Did's framework. I said it was built with a sturdiness intended to keep the foundation resilient and relevant during times of change. And now into our second decade, our mission to prevent deaths caused by seizures is as robust as ever. Last year, I also offered my remembrance of being at the hospital the morning Danny died. His body was still warm, I said. I nudged him over and laid next to him on the gurney. I hoisted his body atop of mine. Mary Ann laid down next to us. We whispered to Danny and we kissed him. Danny was in our arms and that would be the last time. That memory conveys the bluntness of sudden unexpected death and epilepsy. And it captures the last time for too many people who are affected by epilepsy. What lives on, though, is the raw honesty of that last time. It's an honesty that is often downplayed because it is unpredictable and it is uncomfortable. For Danny did, it's an honesty that is unavoidable. When we came home from the hospital that morning, Danny's sister, Mary Grace, hooked her little finger around mine. And she asked, where is he, Dad? She was eight years old at the time and the innocence of her words matched that of her eyes. I knelt down and I took her hands into mine. He had a seizure, sweet pea, while he was sleeping, and he didn't wake up. But Dad, you saved him, right? He is coming home, right, Dad? A few days after we laid with Danny for that last time, I received a call from an Associated Press reporter. She had read Danny's obituary and wanted to hear his story. Near the end of our conversation, she asked if I had anything planned to salute Danny's legacy. I told her about the Danny Did Foundation and of our desire to contribute to suit up prevention. She touched on how draining that type of endeavor might be. I better understood what she meant when I began to learn of other kids who had lost their lives to suit up. The first two I heard of were four-year-old Henry Lapham and 21-year-old Chris Donaldy. In the wake of their son's deaths, Henry's mom, Gardner, and Chris's mom, Jean, gathered the willingness to share their sons and to share their stories in order to educate families. Their generous compassion struck me, and once on that road myself, I grasped the emotional resilience and the thorny tolerance necessary to face this challenge. 
and it's all worth it. Enriching lives through the work of Danny did is rewarding. Witnessing the leadership and the professionalism of my brother Tom and my friend Mary Darf Duffy is heartwarming. Their tender guidance of my family and the relationships throughout the patient, the advocate, and the medical communities has surged Danny Did's advocacy. They are the backbone, backbone of our organization, and they are innovators in the SUDEP space. Thank you, Tom and Mary. Years ago, when my grandma was dying, I stood beside her as she lay in hospice. She muscled the strength to reach with both of her hands to clasp both of mine. Michael, she said, cold hands, warm heart. Tonight, I feel Danny's warm heart. Tonight, I know that the framework we've built in Danny's name provides safety. And I hold fast to the notion that this framework has been built ultimately by hands that can no longer swing a hammer and by feet that can no longer climb a ladder. I'm grateful for your friendship and for your generous financial support. And I hope that wherever you are tonight, you too feel Danny's warm heart. Thank you and cheers to Daniel George. He will forever be one of the best. And as always, enjoy your life just like Danny did. Mike, thank you for those uh, very touching and profoundly personal remarks. And we want to extend our gratitude to you, Marianne, and your family for your ongoing commitment uh, to this foundation. Once again, a round of applause for Mike Stanton. Well, now it is time to transition to our virtual fund -a cause. As you heard from Danny's dad just a moment ago, this part of the evening is really, really important. It's why we're here. And I'd like to welcome back our auctioneer, Keith, for the 2020 Fund of Cause. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Marianne. Great job. You're going to be taking my job pretty soon, aren't you, with your public speaking? I know. Ladies and gentlemen, every gift amount will protect kids facing epilepsy. This next segment is our fund to need. Please contribute to it. Just a quick reminder, the Hearts and Hugs auction and raffles are now open. The link to participate and donate is dannydid.givesmart.com. You will see it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, go to the link and it will explain to you how to register to donate. Um, watch the YouTube live broadcast on a smart TV, computer, laptop, or other large screen. And please continue participating in the bidding by buying raffles and donating with your smartphone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Pamela Handbutt's already been donating, Barbara Hand, Catherine Hartman, Claire Hennessy, $1,000. I thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep those donations coming. We have a modest goal this evening a modest goal of only $100,000 to raise. That should be easy for all of you at home. Get your, uh, get your smartphones out, get ready to donate, whether it is 50,000, 25,000, 10,000, 5,000, 25, 15, 1,000, 5, 250, 100, or whatever dollar amount you feel comfortable with. Wait a minute, the one above the one you feel comfortable with. Please donate that this evening. I know we can exceed the $100,000 level. Now, it is with great pleasure, I am going to introduce two of our executive, uh, DDF's executives, Mr. Tom Stanton and Ms. Mary Duffy. Welcome. Some of the wonderful programs you already know about, in fact, their signature program is their Seizure Alarm Grant Program. Um, 
unbelievable. It's what you're known for. It's what you've really advocated for. You're doing a spectacular job with it. Keep those donations coming to help continue that. They also are, have an awareness and education campaign, which is uh, funding in 50 states and 13 countries. That is amazing, really. And the one thing I found hard to believe, Danny Did Foundation has only been around for 10 years. With everything they've accomplished, you were thinking more like 2025 20, already, weren't you? I know I was. Here it is. They have built and earned a reputation as a go-to organization for patients and parents, but also as a value collaborator with researchers, doctors, and fellow advocates. Your gift supports this organization and the leadership they bring to the entire epilepsy community. Welcome, Mary. Welcome. Thank you for having me up here with you, Keith. Well, that's pretty nice. I should be saying that to you, right? Listen, we know as you keep on donating on your button, wait a minute, wait a minute, we have Willie Hogan just donated, Marsha Hoover just donated, her, her, our Hain? Jorge. Jorge, thank you, thank you. And this really cool couple, Anonymous, keeps on donating. We love it. But here's what we're going to do. As you are donating, keep it up. I'm going to ask Mary and Tom some questions that I know a lot of you um, are asking. So if you don't mind, um, tell us how tonight's fundraiser will impact families Dee Dee serves. Sure. Thanks, Keith. Um, so I talk with quite a few families, and I say families because epilepsy does impact the entire family. And during those conversations, there's one word that always comes up, and that word is fear. Our families are scared. They're scared that their loved one is going to have a seizure and be alone. They're scared to put their babies to sleep. And that doesn't matter if the child is 2 years old or 31 years old. They have that fear. So then I'm able to tell them that through the donations received at Hearts and Hugs, that we can provide a gift for them. And that gift is a seizure detection alarm. That alarm will alert them when their child or their loved one's having a seizure. What that does is bring a little bit of, release the fear a little bit, bring some safety, a little independence too, for the children who are growing up and the young adults and the teenagers who deserve that. So what these gifts bring is peace of mind to those households. Thank you. What else have you learned from the families Danny did serves? Sure, so um, what I know about the families is that they deserve more. They deserve better. They are tired and they're worn out and they are fierce advocates researchers going above and beyond to do what they can to find the best answers for their children. And when they do find that knowledge, they share it with each other. They're a true community that helps each other. And another thing I'll mention, Keith, is when I'm having conversations with family and I let them know about the grant, of course they express their gratitude, but the very next thing they say is, what can I do for you? What can I do for the Danny Did Foundation? They want to pay it forward. That's the amazing community that we're a part of. It's why I'm here tonight. It's why I hope you'll all donate this evening. So think of those families, think of those children, think of Danny, and please give. Well, Mary, you're doing a spectacular job because we just got um, oh. Kathy Adler, I think we just did. They, it just re, um, yeah. Sheila redid Applegate. on us. That was great. Sheila Applegate. Diane Arsinovich. No, say that last name again. Arsinovich. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, already over $75,000 donated. Already. Keep it coming in. This is spectacular. We're unbelievable. You got to love it. Thank you so much. You. By the way, folks, um, that 100000 you really know we need more than that. We just use that number because Tom won't let me ask for more. So keep them coming in. Just keep it coming in. Um, Tom, how you doing? Doing good, Keith. How are you? I'm well. Thank you very much. Um, okay. It seems like a kind of an obvious question, but how has the pandemic affected the funding with Danny did? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the most obvious ways is just uh, in event cancellations. We've had a lot of our Danny Did events canceled in 2020. 
We've had events uh, hosted by other families for us, typically across the country, that have been canceled. So it's been it's been a tough year for for our nonprofit, for for all nonprofits. A tough year for individuals who normally want to give. Um, but as much as the income, you know, we, we think about the impact of COVID-19 on, on families who face epilepsy, people who experience seizures, um, you know, the, the change in routine, the, the, the fear of illness, the anxiety um, around missing doctor's appointments. So it's been an upheaval for our entire epilepsy community and uh, Hearts and Hugs can help us kind of regain some of that uh, income and revenue to help meet the need that's been created by this, uh, this crazy year. Thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're almost to 80. Once again, keep those donations coming. Um, wait a minute. Who do we have out in the audience? Mike? Keith, we've got a very special guest out here in the audience. This is Jennifer Stoner. Jennifer, tell us how you're connected to Danny Dick. Yeah, sure. So about um, a month before I went off to college, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. And for years, my neurologist and I talked about how to get it under control, new medications, new doses, lifestyle changes. And it wasn't until 10 years later when I learned of the Danny Did Foundation and about the risk of SUDEP. And I was just absolutely floored. Um, the risk of SUDEP should be something that's communicated to me by a medical professional. It's a profession that everyone just trusts by nature. Um, so I became involved with the foundation. I'm on their Young Professionals Board because I wanted to help with the outreach and education. And I've seen firsthand the direct impact that this foundation has on families and giving caregivers peace of mind. So everyone here tonight and everyone at home, please give. Well, Jen, thank you very much. It's, it really you. underscores how Danny did is filling in some of the gaps in the healthcare system. Absolutely. So with that story, let's continue to give and throw it back to Keith on the stage. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, keep those donations coming. What do we, thank you, what's this? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Justin, Jim and Jenny Novi, $3,000 donation, we thank you. Dan and Ann Katowski, a $2,500 donation. Russ and Inga Lund, $1,000, we love it. Doug and Patty Bruno, $1,000. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We also have Magnolia Schaefer at $1,500. Neil and uh, Joanne Doyle, $1,000. Claire Hennessy, $1,000. And Mary Martin, $1,500. Ladies and gentlemen, we are so close. We are almost to $80,000. Keep those donations going in. This is exciting. We're um, really excited about the donations. And here's the best part. Even though we don't want you to stop, even though we don't want you to stop, this will stay open till next Saturday night, October 10th at 6.30 p.m. At 6.30 p.m. But, what's this, another one? <laughs> Scott and Julie Gillespie, $20,000! Yes! By the way, you can come up more often when you do things like that. Let me tell you, all the wonderful people that are donating, whatever dollar amount it is, I assure you, we thank you, we need you, and don't stop. Once again, this will stay open till next Saturday night, uh, October 10th till 6.30 p.m. So if you had friends or family or somebody that just missed it tonight and wants to see it, no, you won't have the raffles or anything, but you'll get to see the wonderful videos. Um, you'll get to see uh, Mike over here. You'll have to listen to me again. But the most important thing is we just continue to raise dollars for the Danny Did Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, at home and in the audience, give yourselves a great big round of applause. Awesome job, Keith. Thanks again for everyone at home for all of your donations. We have incredible support tonight and great momentum going already. Our next supporter message is brought to us by our partners at Greenwich Biosciences, a leader in CBD medicines for rare epilepsies. Now we're excited to welcome a friend from the world of rock and roll. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Zach Filkins from One Republic, and it's great to be here tonight. We all share the common goal to protect those with epilepsy. Our friends and family living with seizures all deserve the opportunity to live their best life. 
And by gathering here tonight and contributing to this event, we can show them how much we really care. So enjoy the show. Please give. Let's do this for Danny. All right. How awesome is that? We've got a rock star in the house. Well, Danny did has provided direct funding support to thousands of families across all 15 states and in 13 countries. Next, we have a special message to share from two of those families. Our son Dylan has intractable epilepsy, uh, so that means it's not controlled by medication um, very well, and he sees us often, mostly in his sleep. You lose a lot of sleep. You're worrying about no. what your child's gonna be breathing when you wake up. No. When we found the Danny Did Foundation online, it was a relief. We had um, lots of questions and all the answers were there. And um, the first night that we had the infant, infant um, monitor, uh, it went off three times and caught all three of uh, Dylan's seizures. And at least now um, I can sleep and um, now I know that um, I'm not going to miss one. And that's actually, that's a huge relief. Hello, my name is Marjorie and this is Desmond. And before we met Danny Day, we felt alone, isolated, unaccepted, segregated, and I think the most important was overwhelmed. Everyone was diagnosed with epilepsy and it was devastating. It took a, a, a good moment to, 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 to understand how am I gonna protect this young man um, through life uh, and I can't always be with him. That was my fear. He's gonna have a seizure and he's gonna be by himself or he's gonna have a seizure and he's asleep. Trying to figure out what to do. And then I went online and I searched and just a, a bright light came and it was, I found the Danny Did Foundation. And after the device, after the gift of this device, a sense of relief, I felt safe. It, 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 I felt included, Desmond felt included. We felt a part of a team and it was nice and it was comforting and it was emotional. It was truly a blessing. Thank you for supporting Danny Did tonight. Your gift will help a teenager to have the independence they truly deserve. Thank you, Danny Day. Say thank you. Thank you. Danny did for okay. all your help. Me and Desmond truly appreciate it, right? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Bye. You know, getting a glimpse inside those kitchens and those living rooms, you get to really see that actual real people are being helped by your donations tonight. And that's why the next part of the evening is really so important, the premier auction. Our premier auction items tonight are brought to you by our platinum level Hearts and Hugs sponsor, UCB, a company inspired by patients and driven by science. Keith, come on back to the stage. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you in the audience and those of you viewing us at home, these are packages number 20, 21, 22, and number 23. That's right, those will go to the highest bidder. Here's what it is. These four packages were open in advance. So each package may already have some bids on it. This will close at 9 p.m. again. So once again, there may be some bids on it, but, there, but it will close at 9 p.m. Here's what we have on item number 20. It's an RV adventure. Five nights in an RV for up to five people. Seven if they're little. You can get them in. That will work. It is. Also, a $100 gas card is included. 600 miles are included in this trip. Plus, you get and get to keep a Coleman Portable Road Trip Grill. You also can travel through when? 
all the way through 2022. Insurance included with zero deductible plan. Pick up the RV is available in 35 different states. So remember, this isn't going to last forever, this virus. We are going to get out. We are going to want to travel. What a great way to see the country by getting and bidding on. Oh, and by the way, by the way, you're not bidding against others on this. All it is is a bid now price of $3,500. That's it, $3,500. You get this five nights in the RV. So please go on it now. Go on this, uh, your phone, your smartphone, and push donate. Also, we have item number 21, a music lover's getaway. This is cool. This includes two lower level seats to a concert of your choice in the U.S. See that venue you've always wanted to see. Select from venues large or small, including Nashville's Bridgestone Arena, Los Angeles Walt Disney Concert Hall, or New York's Madison Square Garden. It includes a two-night stay in a standard Hyatt, Marriott, Sheridan, or Wyndham Hotel, or something comparable. It includes two coach round-trip airfare, all within the United States. And whether you like rock, country, or classical music, this is you, Bruno Mars, Elton John, the Eagles, Lady Gaga, Garth Brooks, whoever you'd like to see. By the way, this also goes through 2022. Item number 22, here you go. Here you go, fans. A farmhouse luxury in Napa. Three night, weekday stay, Sunday through Thursday, at the setting in for two at the beautiful pro property surrounded by vineyards. Make yourself at home at this hidden gem nestled between two picturesque vineyards located minutes from the Yountville and downtown Napa. Daily continental breakfast delivered to your room from the bakery. Relax in a barn lounge, enjoy the vineyards view while seated around one of the country, uh, I'm sorry, one of the courtyard's fire pits. Also, you get a wine tasting at the Setting Inn, a private tasting of the Setting Wines, including their highly acclaimed Alexander Valley Cabernet. Yum. Also, you get the Stra uh, Stromsberg Cave Tour and tasting. Get this, a seated tasting of a variety of Stromberg's sparkling wine, wine of the President's state function since President Nixon. A dining experience at the Culinary Institute of America. It's a $150 gift card to use towards classes, dining, or retail. If you have not done that, I promise you, you will love it. Also, because you might be partaking, you get six hours of chauffeured luxury sedan service. Once again, you can fly in uh, with two round-trip airfare to San Francisco or Cal Oakland if you want. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, that is uh, over a $5,500 value. You can have it right now for $39.95. That's right. Let's get it. My last one. This is a really cool one. I only have one of these, and this it will be the winning top bidder gets this. You ready? Comedy show in your backyard. That's right. Up to 20 of your friends in your backyard to see hilarious comedian Jim Flanagan performing live. Who doesn't need a laugh these days, right? Chicago's own comedian Jim Flanagan combines a blend of storytelling and personal experiences. Relatable content about what's going on in his life and the world in general. He's performed at Zany's, The Improv, The Laugh Factory, and Brad Garrett's Comedy Club in Las Vegas. He has also made TV appearances on ABC, WGN, and co-hosts the podcast with fellow comedian, we'll see him tonight, Mr. Pat McGann, um, called All Over the Place. Plus, you get a bar, um, a bar cart. Once again, for, it's a rolling trolley. You're going to love it. Also, a $150 Benny's card to stock your new uh, bar cart. A cheese platter. A bottle of Verve Clicquot champagne. Okay, I drank it, but I just have a hard time pronouncing it. I do. But everything you need to make it a perfect night and all with a great laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, this package, however, is for the Chicagoland area. Um, it's good all the way to October 31st, uh, from October, uh, excuse me, October 31st now through no, uh, December 31st. Let me redo that. 
party must be held in the greater Chicago area before 1031 of 21. However, November and December of this year are blackouts. But other than that, you're fine. That goes to the top bidder. So ladies and gentlemen, those are four spectacular packages. Keep on donating to it. We love Kathleen McShane, McShane, Amy. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, keep those donations coming. And by the way, keep your fingers moving on the donate button. Here we go. So many great auction items, so please keep the bids coming in. Well, so many partners make an event like this a successful one. We want to recognize our highest level supporters. UCB, who is our platinum sponsor, all the great people at Greenwich Biosciences, our friends at SK Life Science, the University of Chicago Medicine Comer Children's Hospital, and Jim Shurman and everyone at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. These companies have truly shown their commitment to Danny Did and the epilepsy community, and we are so grateful. Now, this year, the Danny Did Foundation celebrated its 10th anniversary by launching its first awareness campaign on television. For those of you who haven't seen it, we want to share it now. Danny Stanton spent many days on this field, but just before his fifth birthday, he had a seizure and died from sudden unexpected death and epilepsy. We started the Danny Did Foundation as a promise to Danny to protect other families who face seizures. Keeping that promise would make our son happy. Connect with us at dannydid.org to learn more and to donate. And enjoy your life just like Danny did. That's great. Look for that on the Chicago Airwaves soon. Well, as I mentioned tonight, uh, we've obviously got an audience here at Theater on the Lake, but we're being watched by people around the country. So let's drop in on one of those viewers now. Diamanta Panford joins us from Ohio. Diamanta, are you with us? I am. Hi. I am. Hi. Hey, how are you? I want to show you first uh, the audience here uh, at Theater on the Lake. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> well, Diamante, I know you have a long history with the Danny Did Foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about how you first got involved? I can. I can. Um, I got involved um, I with, got involved Danny, with did Danny Did about six years now. Um, I was looking for an internship for school. For school. So I was at undergrad, so was at, at, undergrad University. at Northwestern University. And so I and worked with them so for, worked with them a, few for a few months for my internships. And just, and just because, of impact um, because of the impact that, that experience had with, that me, experience had with me, I stayed with them for a while. Um, after that, um, after the fact. After the fact. And so I kind of tried to stay in touch. I tried to make it to Hearts and Hugs and other events as much as I can. How would you say that your experience with Danny did has impacted your career? Um, oh, it definitely um, has. Oh, it definitely so has. I so I am currently a medical student looking to go um, looking into, to go pediatrics. into I'm pediatrics. I'm not quite sure, I'm not quite sure, sure if that's definitely, um, definitely going to be that, um, definitely but, gonna I be that, that, but, that but I know that in a crucial time when I was decision making about a decision career, about my career, Danny did was huge for that. And so I am interested in serving the underserved, and I know that that was a population that Danny did was really working hard with. So quick anecdote. I worked um, in a I worked in nurse's, a office, nurse's office over here in Ohio, over here in and, Ohio had and a student that had a student that was, newly diagnosed, was, uh, newly diagnosed with, with epilepsy. And epilepsy. Because of my and because of my experience with Danny did, did, I was able to educate both students and staff, and staff on, um, on um, seizure safety. So it's definitely been, so it's definitely a, really been a really impactful uh, organization, uh, organization for me. Uh, probably in a different uh, way for most, but definitely for my career. Well, thank you so much for taking a few moments out of your evening tonight, and thanks again for all of your support of the Danny Did Foundation. Take thank care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, we have more sponsors to thank tonight. Oak Street Real Estate Capital and our friends Mark Czar and Jim Hennessy. Zogenics, the team at Synovian, our friends at Supernus and the whole team at Neurellis, Jordan Kirschenbaum, Julie Dix, and everyone at Primetime Marketing, AZ. Our partners at, Livin uh, at Livin Livinonia, and finally, Nicole Flores, and our longtime friends at Baird and Warner Edgebrook. Our thanks to each and every one of you for your commitment to the families and their caregivers. 
And next, we want to show you a message from one of the leading doctors in the epilepsy field. This video is brought to you by our partners at the University of Chicago Medicine Comer Children's Hospital at the forefront of kids medicine. The University of Chicago Medicine Comer Children's Hospital would like to congratulate the Danny Did Foundation on its 10th anniversary year of advancing public awareness of epilepsy and the risk of SUDEP. All of us at our Level 4 Pediatric Epilepsy Center would like to send virtual hearts and hugs as together we work towards a common goal, a world free from pediatric epilepsy and all of its consequences. Congratulations, Danny Did. Our thanks again to Dr. Nordley and the team at University of Chicago Medicine. Well, folks, our platinum level sponsor tonight, as we've mentioned, is UCB. And again, in a year where nothing has been normal, they really have stepped up this year to be there for the Danny Did Foundation. So please give your attention and learn more about the work they do. Ladies and gentlemen, just a few short minutes before 9 o'clock. Make sure you are the last bidder. Once again, the silent auction and all the raffles and everything are closed at 9 p.m. In fact, we're going to have the raffles right now. So please get your final bids in. And by the way, we're over $85,000 on our fund of need. Please, let's hit that $100,000 mark. So we want to uh, announce the raffle winners. Uh, the $25 raffle winner is Diane DeSalvo. Congratulations to Diane. And I have the winner to the travel raffle, and that is Katie Hayes. So congratulations. Hey, hey. <laughs> congratulations to our winners. Hey, thanks again to Pat. Can we get a round of applause for Pat again, please? And thanks to our MC, Mike Lowe. Great job. We appreciate it. And of course, uh, the fabulous Keith Jones, the, our auctioneer tonight. Thanks, Keith. Great job. Uh, and thank everyone for being here in person and for everyone at home. The, uh, the Stanton and the Murtaugh families appreciate your continued support and your love. And uh, the Danny Did Foundation will continue on uh, with your support. So thanks a lot. Have a great night. Oh, and yet we're at 3,000 away from 100,000 right now. So let's get it done. All right? Thanks. Come on! <laughs>